الله بالتوحيد والانقياد له بالطاعة والبراءة من الشرك وأهله. The no the definition the general definition a tariful الحاء عام the general definition of an Islam the general definition of Islam is this al istislam لله بالتوحيد والانقياد له بالطاعة والبراءة من الشرك وأهله meaning the general definition of an Islam because there is a specific definition of an Islam which is what. <coughs> Omar, bil Arabiya, yes, bil Arabiya, awwalan, not bil Lebu, in Arabic first, Akhi. Naam, Aba, yes, Akhi. Yes, awwalan. It's a very simple line that you say. So this one is general. This one that you say is general. It is for all the Ummah Musabiqa. Right? Al Islamu Lillah. This is why we say that those who used to follow Isa, they were what? Muslims, those who used to follow Musa, they were Muslims. Those who used to follow Nuh alayhi salatu was salam, all of them, they were what? Muslims. Because of this, al-istislamu lillah. Right? Bit-tawheed. Wal-inqiyadu lahu bit-ta'a. Wal-bara'atu min al-shirki wa ahli. Naam, Abdullah. I'll take na Arabic awalan. Khalas. Everything that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with. This is the meaning, the restricted meaning of Al-Islam. Everything that the Prophet Sallallahu came with. Everything that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with. Kullama ja'a bihi ar-Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Everything that the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam came with. What is Al-Islam? The general meaning. You didn't write it down. How are you going to expect to know it? I mean, at least you go home and say, you know that, sit down. I'm teaching you what is Islam. I'm reminding you what is Islam. I mean, at least I would love though. My kid to some Asi Abi, sit down. Let me teach you this hadith. Who won't be happy about that? Nobody. Everybody. Right? He's teaching you something that he know with dopt with knowledge. Alhamdulillah, right? Sure, yeah, I'll repeat it a thousand times. We'll be repeated forever. Alhamdulillah, right? Al Al Islam, in the general meaning of Al Islam, Hamza said, Lilla. Al Inqi Al Istislamu Lillahi Bit Tawheed. Al Istislamu Lillahi Bit Tawheed. Wal Inqiyadu Lahu Bit Ta'a. So that's, when you look at it, it's how many things? More than two. Abdullah? Four matters. That's why Shaykh Father, he mentioned that the Islam of the individual does not stand except that these four are present. Al Istislamu Lillahi Bit Tawheed. To submit to Allah by way of His Tawheed. Wal in Qiyadu Lahu Bit Ta'a. And to adhere to His obediency by way of doing what He command and staying away from what He prohibit. Number three, Wal Bara'atu Amin al Shirk, staying away from Shirk. The major one and the minor one. And the number four is what? Staying away from the people of Shirk. Don't celebrate their celebration. Right? Don't believe their belief. Don't agree to their ways. Don't follow them in their matters that are known to them. So, wal bara'atu min al shirki was three, wa ahlihi and the people of shirk. So, the Islam of a person, la yaqumu Islam al shakhs, that the Islam of an individual does not stand except that these four matters are to have to be there. Alhamdulillah, and after that this verse was revealed, after this verse was revealed, Al Yawma Akmaltu Lakum 
اليوم اكملت لكم دينكم واتممت لكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الاسلام دينا after this verse was revealed surah maida verse number 3 After this verse was revealed, I believe it's chapter number 5. After it was revealed. Yani a very uh, after a short period of time. بعد بعد مدة قليل أو يسير. After a very short period of time, the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam died. The messenger alayhi salatu wasallam he died after yani not long after this verse was revealed. So to say to say that this was one of the last verse that was revealed from the Quran then one can say that right one can say that this were the last verse or among the last verse that was revealed one can say that طيب so after a very brief moment or a very short time right after this verse was revealed the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam died in his religion is walhamdulillah still present still existing and it will not cease to be existing and present ila an taquma as-sa'a up until the hour is established up until the establishment of the hour wa akmala allah bihi ad-din and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he completed this religion any by way of this verse or by way of na'am by way of this verse where the dalil is qala Allah ta'ala the same verse that we just mentioned in surah al-maida and in it bi idhnillah tabaraka wa ta'ala shasal al-fawza he will go into detail in regard to this verse walhamdulillah So wa ala hadha sanaktafi we step we start with this asking Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to grant us tawfiq and to guide us to be firm upon the way of the salaf ridwanullahi alayhim ajma'in and to hold on firm upon the way of the kibar to hold on firm upon the way of the kibar ash ubayd al jabri hafizahu Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala he mentioned that when the people they used to have issues in of the people of the past they will go to their kibar they will ask them and they will seek nasiha from them and these were the people that Allah has granted victory so if today barakallahu fikum we take it upside down what do you expect huh The messenger alayhi salatu wa salam qala al baraka fi akabirikum The baraka is in your elders The baraka is in your elders wa ala wa amthalihim Sheikh Rabi' ibn Hadi From the examples of him Sheikh Salih al Fawzan hafizahullah From the example Sheikh Luhaydan from the example barakallahu fikum many from the kibar that in times of of, of fitan we ask them we hear what they got to say but we don't jump and jack with the sigar sigarul ilmi wa din we don't jump and jack right with those who are young in knowledge and in action al baraka the baraka is in your elders is in your elders and you all remember the hadith where the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the, it is not he is not laysa minna he is not from us the one that does not have respect for the elders and the one that doesn't have mercy upon the sigar upon the youth so one must combine both having respect for the elders alhamdulillah and being merciful merciful upon the upon the youth very important barakallahu fikum if there was any mistake that i have done and surely there are please rectify your brother may allah tabaraka wa ta'ala make it easy upon you to enter the jannah and make you among those who will enter it bila adhab wala hisab amen inshallah if we got 5 minutes before the salah let everybody mention one thing quickly and we 
الحمد لله Very good. That the religion was completed during the lifetime of the Prophet Ahsanta. That la hijra ba'd al fath. Are you opening a big can of worms now? Okay. What is that hadith though? La hijra ba'd al fath. Cost to what? Very good. What else? And it's not contradiction with the other ideas. No, we'll stick with this program. You want me to give you a class? Please, that's why I, I, I told you you open a, a brand new can. I <laughs> told you. I say benefit, you want to bring the whole content out. Jesus. Now, in that hadith, it is La Hijrat Abad al Fatah. That means because Mecca, Sara, Bila, Baladul, Islam, it became a Muslim, a Muslim land. Ahsan, Tabarak Allah. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not reveal that verse, meaning to say that deen is complete, that people, La Qala, Ma Sha'a, Man Sha'a. Anybody will get up and say whatever they say. That's why this, the narration of was it Ibn Sirin, Akhi? Lawla al Isnad. Laqala man sha'a man sha'a. Ibn Sirin, if I'm not mistaken. If he say, if it was not the Isnad, if it was not the chain of narration, anybody can get up and say whatever they want to say. La la, Ibn Sirin, ma'rifa. Yeah, Ibn Sirin Marifa. We all know we all know Ibn Sirin as Salafi. Right? So he say, if it was not done the chain of narration, anybody can say whatever they want to say. But because of the chain of narration, Allah also preserved this deen because of the chain of narration. Or by way of the chain of narration, Alhamdulillah. That's why anybody can just get up and say, Oh, this is part of the deen. We will say what? Samulana Rijalukum. Name us your men. This is part of the deed. Name us your men. All the way to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Naam. The greatest thing that the Prophet guided the ummah was a tawheed. Ahsan to Muhammad. Good point. Very good. The specific meaning of al-Islam is everything that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam came with. No, there is no hijrah after, after there is no hijra after Al Fatih, meaning the conquest of Mecca. There is no hijra after the conquest of Mecca. But here it means that there is no hijra coming, coming, right? Coming from Mecca. Right? Because Mecca is already a Muslim land. It is only already a Muslim Mus uh, Sulaiman. Naam, the meaning of al-Islam, the general meaning is to submit to Allah Taala by his tawheed and to adhere to his obediency by way of carrying out his command and staying away from his prohibitions and to have al-bara, shuf al-bara, which is a major problem that we have, al-bara. Disassociating ourselves, it is a sickness that many from the Muslim they have, wal billah. Akhi, the Muslim has to have al-wala wal-bara. These two must be present. La siyama as salafi. And more so the person of the sunnah. You must have wala wal bara. It is not everything goes alone. You agree with it. It's not everyone that say this, you condone it. It's not that everybody, this, you part of it. Akhi, there will be a time where you, alhamdulillah, you have to have what? Al wala wal bara. You know, you need to know who to be, uh, 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 allow to uh, have association with, meaning who to, alhamdulillah, be with and who not to be with. And this is a big issue that we have. Now that the Sharia came down in stages, for the period of 23 years, the Sharia of Islam came down into stages. The wine was not the first day of Islam, haram. Right? It was not, barakallah feekum, certain things was not stealing, right? 
the, 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 the capital punishment or the legal punishment was not established the very first day. 